We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be looking at the new edition on the Winax line by GeekVape and this is the K1. Uh, the difference on this one, or one of the big differences, is the fact that they've got new coil technology. Uh, this comes as a pod, so the coil is actually built into the pod, unlike the other two where they had replaceable uh, coil heads. So it's about 600, 650 milliamp hour if I remember right, but we'll give you all the technical details in the close-ups. So here is the one I've been vaping away with for the past few days and just for a quick size comparison uh, there it is next to a pen. Gives you a good idea. So inside the box uh, you're going to find all your documentation inside here. Inside you'll get a manual, it gives you the basics in setting it up and also how to use the thing. You'll get one USB-C charging cable. Yes, it's USB-C and it charges at one amp. Uh, with the battery in it, I reckon you're looking at about 30 to 40 minutes to charge this. You'll find one pod with a coil built in. Uh, now this is, hopefully we can get this zoomed in here. This is the 1.2 ohm canthal and there is a 0.8 ohm canthal coil already installed in the device and you can see that it has a wattage range on there uh, to be perfectly honest just ignore that uh, so that is that to actually fill this you want to get your nail underneath this corner here and I don't have the best of nails but we'll just pop that in there and you just pull that back put the nozzle of your bottle in there and you fill it up with two milliliters of juice. It is quite easy to see the fill level in there. I've had no issue with that. Uh, obviously, as always, you know, put your juice in here, close this off and then put it to one side and leave it to sit for a, a minimum of 10 minutes. You don't have a replaceable drip tip here. This is the drip tip that you use. So it's, it's actually quite it's actually quite comfortable. Uh, and it's you can see it's a narrow board down there that's going to give you the tightness. Uh, but I, I do find it a bit strange that it's you know so open up the top when you're you're basically looking for a kind of a mouth to lung draw to replicate a cigarette. But there is no taking away the fact that it is comfortable in your mouth. And would you believe it? They sent me two blue ones. Uh, now they do come in lots of different colours. I should have an image here I can put up, but it just so happens they sent me two blue ones. Uh, so you've seen the size, it's about, you know, in comparison to a pen, uh, but looking at this you can see we have a little air hole on the side there. So this is where your air comes in and I can pull the cap, or not the cap, but the pod, the pod's going to come out and this is how it gets its power. So you can see the two connections there and they make a connection with here. Obviously as this is brand new, you know, you're going to pull this sticker off first. Uh, and once again, this one here is the, the 0 0.8 ohm resistance coil that is in here. So this will actually be warmer. You will get a warmer vape from this one than you would from the 1.2. Uh, I would also advise that you use a 50-50 PGVG. For those of you that don't know, uh, the PG is where you get most of your flavour from, but it's also a thin liquid. The VG is where you get your vapour from, but it's thick. So a 50-50 is gives you the right consistency for this coil. If you use a liquid, liquid that is heavier on the VG, then it will be a thicker liquid and it will not wick as well. So stick with a 50-50 or a higher ratio PG. So back to the device and it is a 600 milliamp hour battery, which is internal to here. You cannot charge it, change it I should say. And you can see that we have a USB connection at the bottom. We have a, an activation button here. So if you want to take a draw on this, you can push and hold down this button or you can just draw, just take a draw on it and it will still activate and use. So it's, it's up to you, you can use the button or you can just inhale and it will still work. If you want to switch the device on, then it's five clicks. So one, two, three, four, five, and there we go. When I push the button to vape, you can see that this light will come on and that tells me how much charge is in the battery. Uh, basically the short and sweet version is if it's green, then you have more than 70% power. If it's blue, you have between 31 and 69%. If it's red, you have less than 30. You also have three power outputs. So forget the wattage and all that kind of carry on, all these numbers and so on. Uh, basically, you have a low, medium and a high. So three clicks goes through these. So just now, if I do one, two, three, 
you can see it's at white, which is the low setting. If I do three again, it goes to blue, and one, two, three, takes me to green, which is the highest setting. So that is going to affect the heat for your vape, so it'll get warmer. But also remember, once again, that, uh, you know, depending on which pod you're using, because you have the 0 0.8 and the 1.2, the 1.2 on high will not be as warm as the 0 0.8 is on high. Uh, but that's all down to resistance and power output and whatnot. Uh, and basically, I don't think you should be concerning yourself about these things when you're using a device like that. Uh, the other thing is that uh, with a lot of these pod systems is when you're using them, the power kind of tails off. As the battery dies in here, uh, there's no boost available, so the, you just it gets weaker and weaker as you use it. Uh, this does have some regulation in it, so it means that as you're using the device, it tries to keep the same power output all the time, which is a very good thing for a device like this. I will also add that uh, when you're vaping with this, there's a 10 second cutoff. But uh, that is pretty much it for the close ups on the Winax K1. And uh, do you know, it's, it's very, very light. Incredibly light. I mean, this is will go in your shirt top pocket or your. Yeah, it, it's quite a comfortable device as well. So there we go for the Winax. Now, right now, hang on while I check because I've forgotten. I'm on the blue setting which is the medium warmth, if you like. Uh, please forgive me. Uh, I know a lot of you that watch my videos know about these things, but I'm not going into wattages, wattage ranges, and power outputs, and things like that, because I don't think that it's it's something that people that buy this kind of device should be worrying about. Uh, it's You just have to know that it's low, medium, and high, and it's three clicks to go between them. So I'm now on the highest power output on the 0 0.8 ohm coil. And remember, that's going to be warmer than the high setting if you're using the 1.2 ohm coil, because it's a higher resistance. Boring, I know. But anyway, we'll have a quick vape on this. And once again, I'm using a 50-50, six milligram nicotine I have in here. And listen, the flavor from the pods is very good. It's, as I've discussed with many times in old videos, is that pods and, and coils are now at a level where the flavor is, is more often than not very good. And, and this is no different. The only thing I have with this is the, is, it's the shape of the, and the, the bore of this drip tip. It's, it's very comfortable. I like it because I can actually do this, and and I love. I miss this about smoking. I'll be honest. Uh, we're doing that and holding it in my teeth. I love being able to do that. That's why there's teeth marks all over that. But it doesn't mean that this has a loose mouth to lung draw. It's not very tight uh, at all. It's about a one, if you're interested, it's about a 1.2 mil, 1.3 mil draw. Um, so yeah, it's not close to a cigarette, but in modern pod terms, it's what they call mouth to lung. Now Geek Vape are stating that they have a a new technology with this coil, which means that it's going to last for a lot longer than a regular coil. I will be completely honest, I have not tested it to that extent and put lots and lots of juice through this coil. Um, so it, that will, the proof will be in the pudding for that one and long term use for these coils. But uh, I've had eight mil through this now and the flavor is just as good as when I got it. Uh, so bear that in mind, please, that you, the coils are not replaceable. You have to buy this whole thing here. That does mean that for a lot of new users, you don't have to mess about with taking coils out. You just buy this whole unit, pop it in, put your juice in, leave it for 10 minutes, and then you can push the fire button or just take a draw. You're looking about 40 minutes to charge it from dead. Uh, it's a one amp charge and a 600 milliamp hour battery. And that is about it. Do you know the only thing I haven't checked, and I really should check it now. I used to always check this, but I forget these days, but yeah, 
you can vape and charge at the same time. I don't see anything that says you shouldn't, so I, I, I know like, you know, if you're at a desk or if you're in your car or things like that, then you can vape and charge on the go. So that's all I have for the K1. So once again, it's another pod system. This time they are claiming to get a lot longer life out of these coils. And that's all I've got for you. But thank you to Geek Vape as always for sending this on. To you guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, before you go and buy anything like this, go and check out the forums or the Facebook groups, your favorite reviewers, and go and see what they're saying to this product. But until next time, bye for now.